Hello, hello, hello! Extra special shout out to all those Crossroads witches and other interesting magical folks and beings. So happy to see you leaning in on my videos. Today I have a topic that actually was too funny on how it came about. So I'm going to tell that little bit of a story um, where I was shooting a video and as you all know, I keep an outline of notes and the rest of my stuff is just whatever comes off uh, out of my head, uh, out of my mouth. And one of the things I discussed was that I have an astral uh, altar and I realized, ooh, I need to talk about this a little more. And in that video, which is seven tips for activating the witch within, which is a very good video, go check it out, yes. Uh, I was talking about our, our connections and that some of us are very blessed to have the, the cool spaces, but my actually my coolest space, my best altar ever is my astral altar. All right. I created it years and years ago. Uh, another smart witch uh, was the one that showed me the technique. It's uh, a meditation technique of walking down a path. You pick the path, you pick the location, and then you develop, you know, your altar space. Um, for me, I'm going to talk a little bit about my altar space in the astral realm, and then some of it I'm like, I ain't telling, it's mine. But I have two pillars, two big giant pillars that when I want to go to my astral altar, that's the first thing I bring into my space is these two pillars standing there. And I open my third eye and I see them. All right, and there's a path. And I walk through the two pillars into a garden. I have a bit of a wind in my path. And then there is my altar space. All right. Um, incense, candles. I got it all on my space, honey. I keep it burning. I go and check on it periodically, you know, and um, actually candles do go out in astral, my astral realm, and then I put them back. Uh, but this is, all, this is all done in astral space. I'm not taking physical candles. Y'all understand what I'm saying, right? Now, but creating an astral altar is a place for you to go and, and prayers. For me, my astral altar is a place of comfort. It is a place for me to connect. A lot of times when I'm doing grounding, shielding, and protecting exercises, any type of things like that, I always start with going to my astral altar. I will open that third eye, open your chakras, get to that place where, you know, um, it's sort of meditative, but not really all right, there are probably some witches that got better words for this than I do, but creating it, and when I first did it, I wrote some little notes down in my uh, journal just to sort of help guide me the next time I went, and I filled out a whole sheet of paper with notes about my altar, things I've put on the altar over the years, and everything, and now after having this altar for so many years, it's very comfortable. I know where things are. All right, to begin with, I didn't know where I put things. I'd be like, and there's a basket over here, you know, and I would write it in my journal and I slowly created this astral altar. I use this altar a lot. I didn't really think about it until I said it out loud. Then I'm like, yeah, this is sort of my personal business, but this is good personal business. And I think a lot of you, which is where you feel like you don't have the space to create all these beautiful things. I'm like, honey, you got the astral realm. You got the whole astral plane. You can create a temple if you want to. All right. And use that temple as a place to connect to divinity, as a place to connect to spirit realm. All right. I actually had a whole conversation years ago with my grandmother who's passed, but and when I was at the astro, my astral altar, my grandmother came to me and I had a very beautiful conversation with her. All right. So for me, it was a way of connecting with spirit. Like I said, it is a way to ground, shield and protect. Uh, and, and if this is something that, you know, it sounds really interesting, you're like, yeah, I want one. Like I said, sit down, 
and slowly build it. Find a gate, uh, two columns, but you want an entrance is what I would, the notes that were given to me. I'm passing on what I learned, okay, which uh, is that you want a definitive gate. You want that change into liminal space, a doorway type situation, all right? And to uh, figure out where your doorways are. Like I said, mine are two beautiful, sort of Grecianist columns, more ruin type. I know what they look like. I know what they feel like. I've walked around my columns. That's the relationship. If you have a door, a gate, two trees, two rocks, what, but you want the liminal space movement. From there, like I said, create a path, your path. All right. Now, the key to all of this is you want to do it the same way every time. You want to return to the space you've created. If you do it differently, you're creating a new space. And if that's what you want to do is every time go and create a new altar, hell yeah, I'm with you. That's great. Uh, first, I'm a lazy witch uh, in my heart of hearts. And so I'm like, no, I just created one. I go back there. It's been working for me. I've had my astral altar probably 20 years now. Um, the great thing about astral altars is you don't have to dust them. I know, there's so many benefits to them, all right? They don't accidentally catch on fire. <laughs> they don't do all sorts of stuff. But try doing this, witches, especially if you are feel like you can't create that amazing altar you've always wanted. Yes, you can, all right? And go out and create it. And of course, you know, I want to hear in the comments below what everyone else's thoughts are on this. All right, I have a feeling I'm not the only witch doing it. Something tells me there's others of y'all out there and we've all been doing it, but we just ain't talking about it. So of course, leave it in the comments. And for you new witches, welcome home, welcome home. There is a place for you in our community. And I would strongly recommend go read those comments. We got some smart witches and they will inspire you no matter what your magic or tradition is. And of course, go check out houseofwitchcraft.com if you're interested in me and in my tradition and what I do in my coven. Uh, of course, love to have you. With that said, I hope y'all have as bright of a blessed day as I am. And as always, amen, blessed be, ashe, and a bo. Thank you.